Hey there, everybody, what is happening? We are back with Strike Twice revamped today. This deck is still just up. It's not even a tank of gasoline. It is a pile of gasoline just waiting to just explode violently everywhere. We've got the Jungle Shrine, which makes me pretty happy. It makes me question whether or not we Elvish Visionary on turn two. I think we don't, though, because we have Domain and a Woolly Thoktar on turn three, which is pretty damn good no matter who we're up against. Especially since we're on the play. That's a very aggressive thing to have going on, especially against a green, red, black pile. Thoktar is an angry Mamma Jamma to have out there. Now, after that, we might have a bit of an issue, except we have the Elvish Visionary. We got white uh, land so that we can cast the Cloud Shift as well. I would really rather Grook's Pack Leader was out there in the world to make us happy, but I don't know. You know, we're, we're going to see what we can do here. I think that you should be able to unfoil stuff because I really kind of regret those guys being foil now. That's a 3-1. I don't give a shit about that. He's got an Earth, though. Um, he sacrifices it at his end step. I'm at 17. I've got Woolly Thoktar next turn. There's not a lot. I mean, Double Shock is really the only way for this deck to cope with Woolly Thoktar or, you know, Ulcerate and Shock. There's not a whole lot of joyous options for this guy to deal with two Woolly Thoktars, put that guy on the table and say, go. He's there. And he's he's ready for a show, that Wooly Thoktar. Look at him. Such a cool picture. Look how small that guy is. That's sick. It's just sick. Three mana, what can you do? What would you do to my Thoktar? Just two for the unearth. I mean, that's pretty rad. I wouldn't block it. I don't give a shit. I'm doing five damage to you, bro. My friend. My man. I would cultivate too. You were at 15. You were at 15 life 20 seconds ago, man. You're already there. Oh, he's finding another color. I didn't know he was white. What is this, five color? What are you doing here with an unearthed five color? Is that playable? I don't know. It's not as playable as the second Willie Thoctor. I'll tell you that right now. Go ahead and get across there. He doesn't have, you know, the mana that he needs to be able to deal with two of these guys. Willie Thoctar. Go. Oh boy. <laughs> this this might be a massacre. I'm not sure. This could be brutal. I get to Elvish Visionary and have the Cloud Shift open this coming turn. So I think that's pretty good. That second Thoktar draw was insane though. I mean, he can do three damage to me all day. I don't care. I will not block. Because that just opens up the Thoktars to way too much. Yeah, he's going to kill one of them here. That's super regrettable. I am sad about that. Okay. Fair enough, man. I, I, I can't say I care. I'm at 14. You were at 10. I wouldn't even block if the Elvish Visionary was out. Ground Assault is super playable now. You know, I didn't think about it, but... Oh, and ever since this guy became, or revealed that he was white as well, we should have realized that he has Reprisal open, which is what I've been saying all the doodah day, is that Reprisal is super playable in format. We got the Jungle Shrine out. We get to draw another card next turn, play that group pack leader. That's pretty good. Wall of Omens might not need to be in this pile anymore, though, since it's so aggressive. Wall of Omens might come out and we put something else big in here. Not another Garuk pack, pack, Garuk's pack leader, because that guy, he's kind of chunky. Cost five. He's kind of late game. Works really well with the pile as a whole, though. Synergizes super nicely. Uh, but the O4 is not a bad one either. I mean, if stuff's going, just tits up. The O4 is definitely going to take some damage on the chin and get you there. Now this is a problem. Because I don't have a lot of lands. And this guy's going to start gaining life. I don't want to have to do that, you guys. I don't want to have to do that. I don't want this to have to happen. My Thoktar. He's tapped down. I 
I'm taking him to nine here. That's the plan. I'm sad, you guys. I'm saddened deeply by what just transpired. I mean, that Thoktar was like a son to me. His name was Thaki. And uh, he was a good dude. He, he was a, a prince among Thoktars. And now he's just brutally murdered. As a four, four. I got one of those as well. I cannot cast mine, though. Which is a little saddening. This guy's got Seance. You know, that's right. Too bad that wasn't out earlier. You'd have a 5 5 that I'd be having a devil of a time dealing with. That 4 4 gets in on me, though, doesn't it? More Storm Surge is not good. Right now. In this particular situation. I might have to cloud shift this 1 1. Um, I don't really pay attention to what I need. I, I guess I need some green, right? And everything else, I think I'm fine. I'll just get, just get a couple green. It can't hurt. Since I have two of the shrines, I was like, they can't be much that I need. Okay, so I can play the uh, Warstorm Surge. But in the meantime, I got, I got some things I got to be worried about. I can block that guy. Ooh, he gets to draw. That's cool. Yeah, does the O Fort not? Because that guy caps himself. That might be a little too aggro. Oh, look at this guy! Oh my goodness, it's the same deck, except he's got black in there. Four color decks are weird to me. I don't know. Five color decks are super weird, but like three is usually where you want to keep it. Hardly any mono color decks, you know, on like Pro Magic. There are some that are super awesome, but you don't see a lot of them. And then. It's rare to see five color. Four color is almost unheard of, though. Five color is the one that's rare, but still makes sense. See, the thing that worries me is I got to spend an entire turn playing this War Storm Surge. That's going to be a real bitch, but the Pelica Worm is going to be worth it. I need one mana, though, so that I can cloud shift something. Except that I probably won't. Fling. Play this Warstorm Surge. This is, I mean, this could be my last turn here. Block that, block that, take three. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. Genesis Hydra. Okay. Genesis Hydra is not bad. I like that. Wow, this guy really stabilized well. And I'm still a man off from being able to even Pelica Worm, so I'm in quite a bit of trouble. This guy's got a freaking 7-7. I have the Grooks pack leader and the cloud shift so I can kind of work around this and I think that's the play even if I get the mana for the Pelica Worm. This is four. Kill this Thoctar. That's seven, eight, nine, ten that this guy has, though. I don't know how I can win this. Block, Cloud Shift, kill. That's eight. But then he also has the Unearth guy. I don't think I can. I don't think I can do this. I needed one more mana. And the uh, Nakatol. 
Ooh, this guy came back and got me. Oh, shit. If he doesn't do the unearth, I can make this happen. But otherwise, I'm really screwed. See, oh, you got me. I was going to block and then do that, dude. I was going to block the 7-7, seven, seven, cloud shift out, kill another guy. But you got me right there, man. You got me right there. That was it. Oh, that sucks. That is a good game, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was a good one. He came on back on me. Ooh! I don't know about that. Made me sad. Made me a sad panda bear. I am going to take a look at this deck because that gave me a couple of ideas for this. I don't like splashing black, but it gave me a few ideas. We're going to see if there's any changes we can make here. All right, you guys, we had some big changes here. Is this like way too loud? Yeah, it was way too loud. I wonder if that was picking up on the mic. Picking up the sound headphones sound good. Um, we got the Wayfinders in here because we did end up putting those hyper-aggressive guys in there. So... Nicotol would just be pretty small. He'd be a pretty small dude. So this is a little bit better here. Because we'll play him, and then he'll be a 2-2. We'll have 3-4-5 going across the field next turn. And then if I can find a white, I'll get a Thoktar out. So we're even more aggressive now. We took out pretty much all the card draw, believe it or not, uh, except from our, our relatively big guys. So we'll see what happens with this. I'm not positive if that was a good call or not. We will have to see. We are doing five damage here on turn two, which is amazing. I mean, if I had some way to get this guy out, which you couldn't, I think, play these two guys on turn and then get the Thoktar out, that's actually impossible. Unless you had, like, perfect mana, you know? Uh, but with the, the duels and things like that, we're not actually able to do so, which is a bit of a sad time for me. If he doesn't have anything else, though, I'll just do 5 mana tomb again take him to 10, which will be okay with me. I mean, that's not too bad right there. So we're going to try that. That kind of sucks. Um, put that there. I'm going to go ahead and just unearth this guy now. Uh, there's no sense in not. Be as aggressive as possible. We don't have white now. What were we missing a couple matches ago? Was it... I don't know. This kind of sucks. Maybe we don't need Grill Guild Gates anymore? Because green and red seem to always be on lock. So if I take the Gruel Guild Gates out and put in some of the red whites. Because I can still do a complementary color. Maybe green white. Red was really prevalent because we needed the Warstorm Surges. We need all that stuff. But white, actually we were short on white last time too. So I'm going to make a note of that. We need to... Need a, a white mana fix for this thing. We need to recount it up because I actually haven't counted it, which is super irresponsible of me. Very stupid. But that's what we need to take a look at. Yeah, we are in a bit of trouble as far as that's concerned. This is six damage right here. So even without the white, we might be able to make it out of this one alive. I'm fine with that because I don't have anything else to do next turn either. This guy doesn't know that, but that is the only playable in my hand. It also has haste. Uh, I would have... Shit, that sucks. That's a, that's a sucky situation to be in. I mean, you have to bounce the Venge Vine. At least he gets to look through his pile and try and find something off the top there with the Scry. Uh, maybe he can cancel Venge, but even canceling Venge Vine's not great because it has that recursion aspect to it. Uh, and as far as he knows, I have very low mana creature costs here, so that might seem like a better idea than it is. I'll go ahead and play this Venge Vine again. Try and take this guy to two. We might be able to make it out of this alive. He's going to voyage his end. This guy again. Right back into my hand. This guy's at six. Think twice. He's drawn a lot of cards. This is an awfully aggro pile here. I wish we'd had the Thoktar out. Uh, but the Thoktar probably wouldn't have done much because he's got so many voyages ends. He's got two left that he could have if that's all the bounce he's running. And we certainly don't know that for a fact. For five, we're two off a of Pelica Worm, which would also be pretty bad for this guy. But at this point, I'm not sure if we're going to see that from him. 
Uh, Bermaz is definitely the guy that we're scoping here. I mean, he's gone because we don't have white at all. We're a strictly gruel pile at this point. Well, that's a bitch, but that's not terrible because we do have Thoktar next turn. We're going to attack with both. He's probably going to block the... If he has some, if he has another creature in hand, he blocks the 2-2 two -two here. If he doesn't, he blocks the 4-3. Okay, so he's got another creature, so he can... Or something to take care of this 4-3. On some... Okay, no one summons. Boros Guildgate's going to come down. Thoktar is awake. I, I don't think I would have got rid of anything else anyway. Pelica Worm is kind of a hammer in this situation. Otherwise, we're just kind of sitting here. We'll have to see, though. Horror kind of sucks. But I can play both. I just... No, 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 no. Because it doesn't kill... I can't play both, right? I read this Pelica Worm. No, I need one more mana for that, right? Because that's seven. Oh, the Vengevine wins, though, doesn't it? Oh, just this guy. Yeah, because then I have the red open, so I can just fling it. That was a hell of a draw. Fling, players, that guy. Sack that creature out. That's five damage to your face. Boom. We need to change up the white mana, though. So I'm going to fix that and put in more Boros Guild Gates. And then we'll see more about this deck in the future. I'm not sure when we're going to see it again because, like I said, this might just be a weekend thing. But I'm kind of heavy into this deck right now. So we might even see it again tomorrow. Uh, but for right now, I just want to thank you guys for checking out this episode. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.